Here's my Storm OST on my Falcon Ring, and I'm having a problem with the gyro drift, so I just wanted to throw that one out there, see if anybody had any opinions. As you can see on the ground here, having just turned on, the roll gyro is at zero, and the AHI gives a nice straight line. So what I'm attempting to do, just to demonstrate it seems to be working, is just turning it on the roll axis and making sure the line's lined up and the uh, the roll indicator comes back to zero, which it seems to be fine here. So let's go ahead and launch it. We'll see what happens. You can see I get the odd shake indicator, which is not unexpected when launching or bumping around. Um, my sort of question is: Is there more, perhaps, subtle vibrations going on that's knocking this out? It seems to start off by being reasonably okay. So my first test is to switch into PA. Um, I pretty much go hands off here. And you can see there is a drift to the minus side of the roll. Now PA has got a course lock so it actually keeps it in a nice straight line. But it actually seems to believe it's, it's having to roll the plane over a little bit to actually keep it there. Where this becomes a worry is when I engage RTH. Um, again, you can see that it thinks it's already got the plane leaning over. Uh, it's coming towards me, and when it goes past and gets to 100 metres, it should go into uh, sort of a tight loop to bring itself round again. But as you're going to see, this doesn't happen. Essentially, we end up with RTH being fly away forever mode because it already thinks it's in a turn. Um, and the storm limits this turn to a certain number of degrees. So what I have to do is abort. So it's generally at about 10 or 15 degrees. So a lot more here. So what I, I do after that test is decide to come down and reset the gyros. I read some stuff about um, the storm needing to run for a while so it's run for a good seven minutes here so anything I do now should, should be fine. Immediately when I land you can see the roll gyro just seeming to recover again leading me to think is it some sort of vibration issue? Is something throwing it off and it's not recovering um, in flight? Unfortunately, I turn up and, and pick the thing up before I have a chance to check this out. But you can see it's it's still recovering, it's dropping down. Um, but instead of waiting for that to happen, I go into the settings and I decide to reset the gyro and um, do the auto trim on the, um, the gyro centers. So you can see it's all back to zero, all centered. So I'm going to use the same battery to launch again. And of course the theory is that this should be absolutely spot on and perfect now. And again, seemingly just holding it on the floor as I move it around, it does seem right. So launch it again. And for about the first couple of seconds, it's okay. So we do the same test and put it in PA. And 
again, we can see that it's out. It's gone on the minus side again. With RTH being exactly the same problem. So, wondering if it was motor vibrations, I went up high and I had a good five minute glide. I'm in a glide here, you can see I'm pulling the amps. Um, I've also at this point turned off the AHI because it was pissing me off so much. But the roll gyro is still about 10 to 15 points out. And in that flight again, just to demonstrate what happens when we land. We land at about minus 15. The instant we land, the roll gyro starts to recover again. Uh, but unfortunately in this case, I turn up with my big feet and pick the plane up before it gets back to zero. So that's it. I appreciate any insight anybody's ever had, or if they've had this problem before. See if I can fix mine. Thanks.